Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemskal and welcome to something that I haven't done in a long, long time, a neighbour's house tour in Sims Freeplay. I'm not really sure how, why I haven't done one, I just kind of, honestly I've been off Sims Freeplay at the moment, I don't really know why, I think kind of the Spa community event kind of annoyed me so much and I just kind of, I don't know, I haven't really played it that much recently and so I figured I would just like go around my neighbour's houses or my neighbour's towns and get some inspiration and things and so hopefully you will get some inspiration from this so this is the house that i have decided to tour today this is how it looks from the town map it is built on a premium lot as you can see let's go ahead and jump inside and take a little look so here we go here is the house it is a two-story house and i think it looks so beautiful i love it i really do like it, it is joined by balconies along on the second um, on the second story and it's just so nice it looks so pretty with all the snap dragon flower things or whatever they're called let's take a little look is there no there's no basement so first floor here we are on the first floor just before we go any further there are definitely some glitches used the door glitch used in this to be able to put items like right next to the doors because you can't put things normally just in front of the doors where they have in this house so just so you are aware of that it's kind of done lengthways so the entrance to the house is not at the front where you would kind of think it would be it's round at the side here and I just really like it. so here's the garden area you're greeted by this huge centennial statue as you walk in it's very uh, Latin-y this house has got a lot of the Latin villa stuff it's got a nice pool over on this side little pool and then over on this side kind of a jacuzzi what have they got down at the bottom there I don't know what they put in that pool but it looks like, make it look like a jacuzzi. Is it like a fountain or something or? I have no idea what that is. Let me know down in the comments if you know what that is. Uh, but like a little jacuzzi thing there. I don't know. And then a, the hot tub over here. Is that glitched? I don't know whether it's glitched or not. But it looks nice. I like it. And then let me just take it up so you can see how the garden looks. With the top layer as well. In fact, I'll do it with the roof on. Look how adorable it is. I just think it is so cute with all of these like balconies with the flowers on. So, so nice. I think it's gorgeous. Right, let's continue and get inside the house. So you go into the house here and there's like a little porch entrance way and then you're greeted with this kind of two separate living areas. There's one over here with the makeout couch and the Latin fire. And then one over this way with the retro TV and kind of the Latin chairs and things. And then which way should we go first? Let's go right first. I wonder actually whether this place could be maybe like a hotel or something. It potentially could be. Let me know down in the comments what you think. But there's it's very symmetrical. There's uh, lifts, elevators on either side. Let's go off to this way first. Kind of like a kind of book area, library area there. A study there, bedroom over here with a walk-in wardrobe that takes it through into a ensuite bathroom as well. And I just kind of wanted to show you this corridor, how they've done. This is the glitchy bit that they've done, but I just absolutely love it. Like how they've done the, the doors there, the window, the door, and then they've put the fountains there. It just looks so nice, like from the inside. And from the outside as well, you can see it from the outside. It looks really nice. I really like it, but yeah, it's definitely, that's been glitched in. And I think, let me just go ahead and check on the upstairs level of this, because there's some stairs here with another bedroom, a little corridor. They've done the same thing up here with the fountains. Kind of the same thing up here with the bedroom, walk-in wardrobe, and a bathroom, ensuite bathroom there. Can you get out to the balcony? Yes, you can. And then you can get out to the balcony through the door here. And this is a really nice balcony area out here with the those seats. With little record players. You can sit and listen to music. And obviously they've glitched the palm tree up there. So nice. I wish you could put trees up on balconies. You can't unless you glitch them. But I just think they're really nice. And then we're back to where the elevator comes up. And then let's go back down actually and just go over to this side. So again, it's kind of very symmetrical. Like I said, it's got like that library little area. Instead of a study area here, though, there's a seating area. I love those. Are they the Latin, Latin things? I say it quite often. I've not got the Latin, not built the Latin um, 
house yet, so I haven't got much of the furniture. Apart from a, a few weeks ago, actually, we were able to buy some of the furniture, so I did. But I haven't got most of it. And anyway, through here, this is the kitchen. No, it's not a hotel. It's definitely a house, isn't it? Because over here is the kitchen area. And there's a family bathroom there. Kitchen and diner with the Latin kitchen. I like how they've put their pictures on the walls and things. and just It's really just well decorated. Uh, so let's go as if we're going up these stairs. Up these stairs. And again, there's a bathroom. Not a bathroom. A bedroom. A bedroom with a walk-in wardrobe onto an ensuite bathroom. And out here, another balcony area, nice with some more seating. And you go through into again, like um, a study library type area. It's got a computer, and oh, look at the little um, kettle there. And there's you can get a cup of tea if you want whilst you're doing your work on the computer. I've not seen that chair before. Where's that chair from? Is it an expensive chair or is it limited or something? I'm not sure. I've never seen it, I don't think. And there's a nice little record player. There, see, that's glitched in as well. I wish you could put... One of the things that I really do wish that they would do is make it so you can put things in front of doors. Because doing... I, I don't really like glitching when I'm building. And so... But I would love to be able to do these types of things and have, like, little alcoves with, like, you know, like a fireplace in or, like, this with a record player or something. Wish we could do that. Really do wish we could do that. These are nice plants. Where are these from? I don't think I've ever seen them either. So let's take one last little look with the roof on. There is the house as a whole. I really do like this house. I feel like I've seen it before. I don't know whether it's a copy off of somebody else's build or whether, was it an arch? No, I don't think it was an architect home. Whether I've just seen it in their town before, I'm not entirely sure. But I think it's a really, really nice build. So well done on whoever did build that. So there you go, guys. That is a little tour of one of my neighbour's houses in Sims Free Play. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. And let me know if you'd like me to do more of these. Like I said, I've kind of just gone off doing them at the moment. But when I do it, I've, like, I love going around and I love checking out other people's bills. So I probably will bring more back to the channel. Let me know if you'd like me to do that. Somebody's popped up on my Instagram. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, actually, I have two Instagram accounts, shameless plug. Um, I have a greenoid.gemsicle, which is my Sims Free Play account, which actually I haven't posted to for a while. But I also have a personal one, which is Greenoid Adventure. Go ahead and follow those if you would like. But thanks so much for watching this video. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.